previously on Shop Life Vlogs. So once we get back, if it didn't turn out that well, we'll be able to just peel it off, peel all the bugs that we kill off with it, and hopefully we don't have any rock chips. We are messing up this M3. Yes, we are. Oh my God, you did it worse than me. It better peel off. So right now we're peeling off um, most of the... We're gonna peel off all the auto flex. So yeah, let's, let me show you. Let me give you all an update too as far as how it's peeling. Yeah, so like the parts where I put it on good is coming off like perfect, no issues. But you see like right there where it's breaking up, that's where I didn't put it on thick enough. But it does come off, especially when it's thick, it comes off really easy. But like right here on the headlight, you can see where I didn't put it on thick enough. So the top coat, which is like the clear, you see this is the top coat. That comes off pretty easy. You could try, you can see it's trying to pull off that bottom, the base coat, but there's not enough. So you see how the base coat, there's not enough. So just like barely coming off. But even with all this, like I'm just taking a pressure washer to it. And the pressure washer I'm using is like a Harbor Freight electric one. It's got like barely any strength. And I've got like one of the little tips that's got 15 degree angle or whatever. Staying at a distance, I mean, it's just coming right off. Um, and the main reason it's doing that though, like I said, is because I didn't put it on thick enough. But wherever it's thick, it comes off really well. And it didn't like break until we started really peeling it. So, I mean, it held up pretty well. Um, we're pulling it off. Yeah, we don't see any rock chips. Nope. Or Nothing. Paint. Yeah, any chips. So I guess the difficult part was we tried peeling it like without wetting it or whatever. So, but the difficult part is finding an end or a start. So we don't want to scratch it with like our yeah, nails. Yeah. So with, um, with the pressure washer, it pretty much picks it up already. It creates like a, a, a hole bubble, yeah. and then we could just start peeling off without, you know. Yeah. And you can see like right here on the edges, I didn't put it on thick enough in certain parts because I mean the hood was down. I didn't have it up, which that explains that, but you live and you learn. For rattle cans, I'm still very impressed on the overall how it worked out and even how it looked when it was on there. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we also bought the Autoflex top coat remover just in case we needed it. I mean, I know for sure we will need it probably like inside the hard to reach places like uh, the grills. Um, but so far we haven't used it yet, but I'm pretty sure it will, it will work fine. Well, even on the grills, the pressure washer is taking it right off. So look, I got this one off right here without oh, chipping. I, I mean, this is how like the pressure washer that we're using is not strong. So I mean, I can get up like an inch away from this and it still doesn't like, you know, peel anything. So, all right so here's my question right yeah. now that you're you're taking it off with the pressure washer yeah. do you think like people that are doing it like to fully to their whole car and let's say they want to wash their car they can't wash it with the pressure washer you could definitely wash it with the pressure washer only thing is like i mean i'm trying to peel it up so i'm trying to find a spot where i can lift it and then i angle the pressure washer so that way it gets underneath it to peel it up um but like and we also did it with rattle cans if you're gonna do I would never suggest doing what we did with rattle cans. This is too big of an area. So like if it was just headlights or just like certain parts, like the grills and stuff, that's fine. But like if you're doing like this whole hood and stuff, definitely don't do it with the rattle cans. It's not enough product coming out. But if you want, if you auto flex the whole car, I mean, this is, I mean, this is not even thick and this is like coming off really good. So if you have it even thicker, I mean, it's not going to chip to begin with that much. And supposedly you're supposed to be able to wax it and yeah, all that, right? You can right? sand it and buff it too. Hopefully, eventually, we'll do a full car. Not this one, though. Not this one. That's foreshadow. You guys, nobody catches all of our foreshadowing ever. Because. Right? Okay, look, let's put it this way. We don't, I mean, we're impulsive to an extent. But <laughs> we're we, impulsive. Okay, but we We are. We're impulsive, but we don't just like, <laughs> like we have some sort of planning before we do stuff. And we usually like on social media. Oh yeah, because people were like giving you, sh Crap. giving you, yeah. yeah. 
for uh, plastic dipping this or like why couldn't you take it to a professional like we thought about it like I we knew we didn't have enough time to take it to somebody who will take days you know, and that, like, we knew the tape wasn't going to work and all people suggested using the tape it would have been easier but yeah did you, if you guys have watched our last video you you guys saw the kind of rain we, oh, yeah. we ran into we tried it before you know yeah, it's before, not it it's not like we're like stupid you know I know we're young but like I mean you guys gotta understand we've driven cross-country like 15 16 times we know what how bad the you know the conditions are we knew that people did have issues taking it off um like after you know a year and we said before if it came out great we weren't gonna peel it off but like once i started spraying like i mean i already expected it somewhat but like you know i was being optimistic and once i started spraying like at the end of the video that we were spraying you guys saw i told you guys all the shortcomings of pretty much how i did it but if i have like a normal hvlp gun I mean, I, I think it would have came out perfect. We would have probably just left it on. Oh yeah, this is like where I got it on good. And look how thick that is. And it's really clear, right? Like it's like not even yeah, yellow at all. Yeah, and when we were researching about it, we saw a YouTube video where they did like a scratch test with like, oh, yeah. with, with a flat driver. head, yeah. yeah. And, and it held up. Yeah. It didn't tear or anything. And theirs they did with the HVLP guns. Theirs was a lot thicker than this. But we weren't taking screwdrivers to this, so we weren't worried. Almost has it all off yep. of the hood. Pretty much, this is like almost the whole hood. Mm-hmm. All right, so we've got all of the Autoflex finally peeled off. Uh, there's a few spots where I still need to, you know, hit it with the pressure washer. So next time I wash it, I'll take care of all that. Um, one thing that I did notice though is the paint was a little hazy after we pulled off all of that autoflex. Um, but the haze all went away as soon as the car was sitting in the sun for a little bit. So once the car was in the sun for I would say about maybe 30 minutes to an hour, um, all the haziness just went, went away and went right back to you know the normal gloss as it was before. So I'm not really entirely sure why that happened. It's probably some kind of chemical reaction or something. Not entirely sure, but I mean that's pretty much what happened. I really want to figure out why it got hazy. Once we experiment more with that Autoflex stuff, I guess we'll figure all that out. But uh, the headlights and everything, all that came out fine. No issues there. There's no, there was no haziness on there to begin with. Um, so the main takeaway from this whole experience was make sure you put it on nice and thick. Um, the base coat has to be really thick. The top coat has to be thick. Um, that's the biggest thing. So wherever it was thin, it did not bond. I mean, it bonded really well, matter of fact so well that it was really hard to peel off where it wasn't thick. But I mean, that's with any plastic dip, any paint for that matter, anything that's peelable, you want to have a good layer on it in order for it to peel off. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. No beamer when I pull in the sun. Change on me just like pull the dawn. Don't be frightening, girl, you know I'm the one. I'm a tool, it's not an option, and they know they can't stop me. Take off, take off, I can't take no breaks off, I've been Working